Hello, this is Lino Tadros, and in this video, we'll show you how to use the event module and widgets inside of Sidefinity. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, we are in the dashboard. We will go to the content menu and we will go down to it says events. And easy enough, like everything else, like news and blogs and everything, it's completely empty. So I'm going to go ahead and create my first event into the database. I'm going to say create an event. And again, easy enough, we'll give it a title. We'll say, for instance, site Finity development class. All righty. And we'll come to the content and he will cheat a little bit. We'll go to Chrome and use my, uh, my Lorem Epsom generator. It's a free plugin. So I'll say create me, for instance, four paragraphs of five sentences each. <laughs> there you go. Control C and I will put some gibberish in here so we can have just a, a, a holder and also let me take maybe the first sentence from here and make that the summary so we don't have to type too much and notice automatically we have one calendar that comes with the events module it's called the default calendar we will see in a minute how to create more calendars as well so from right here we'll say for instance let's say it's today at 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. this is when it starts and when it ends, also what time zone this is in. I can also do recurring events. By default, it will be a one-timer, but I can change it to be every day, every workday, uh, weekly on a Thursday, monthly on the 22nd, yearly on December 22nd. All of these things are available for you as well. I can also engage on uh, associating that specific event with a specific category or more than one categories and more one or more tags as well for the taxonomies of Sidefinity. For the location here, we'll say for instance uh, 111 uh, Street, <laughs> that's good enough for me. And the city, I live in Orlando, so let's put Orlando in here. And I'm gonna go to country, we'll say USA, state is of Florida. And uh, how to find us, again, this is something else regarding Google Maps or uh, Bing Maps or something. If you'd like to have turn-by-turn uh, -turn directions, if you turn it on in the administrator settings, we're not going to do that in this video. And in here for the email, for instance, I will say lino at uh, foo.com and the website will say www.ttv.com for the training boss. The contact name will say lino, cell phone is 911. <laughs> and uh, the phone is 912. <laughs> All right, sounds good enough for me. Uh, you can also change the URL if you'd like for that specific class. Uh, you can add additional URLs in case this is from a previous website that was not inside Finity or something like that. And I'm going to go ahead and publish this event. So I got, I got myself one event available in the database. Let's go ahead and actually duplicate this so I don't have to type too much. We'll say duplicate for a second event. And for this one, instead of Sifinity Development, we'll say Sifinity Business class for instance we'll leave all the information but this time we'll change it to be the 23rd of December and of course the ending has to be after that the 23rd alrighty and we will leave everything the same we look fine and he will say publish alright so while I'm here all the stuff will go under the default calendar so while I'm here I would like to create a third event but I want to put it in a completely different calendar before I do that Let's go all the way to the top, for instance, and uh, let's go backward once in here. Notice on the side, when you click on this gear, this gear in here, it will open up the settings for the events. And one of them is to manage calendar. So let's click on that. And instead of calling it default calendar, let's go ahead and change this. Oh, by the way, when you click on it, it will show you all the event associated with that specific one. I'm going to create a different one. We'll say... Uh, I would like to create another, oh, this is the filtering, so let me go back once and I'll create a brand new calendar, there you go, and we'll call this one Sidefinity Calendar, okay, and we'll give it a description, blah, 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 give it a nice color, let's say the color of Sidefinity is this beautiful green, and we'll say create. And while I'm here as well, let's go ahead and create a third one, another calendar, we'll call the Azure Calendar, because I teach a lot of classes on, on Azure as well, we'll give it a description. And the Azure is this nice blue color for Azure as well. We'll say create this one as well. So the only thing left for me now, if I go to all events, I might want to change these two not to be in the default calendar, but in the specific calendar called Sidefinity Calendar. So let's go back in here. Hopefully now in the calendar drop down, we'll see all of them. Click on Sidefinity Calendar, publish, and we'll go to the, uh, to the developer class as well. We'll make that change and we we'll go down. And where is the calendar? There it is. And we'll say this is Sidefinity Calendar and publish as well. All right. And like I promised, I'm going to actually duplicate one more of these guys. And this time will be Azure Development Class. All righty. And this one will be the calendar for Azure. 
we'll leave everything the same actually let's make this one the 24th who's going to teach a class on the uh, christmas eve i don't know but let's go ahead and try it anyway and we'll go ahead and we'll say publish all right so now i have three events and i have three different calendars as well let's go ahead and see how we're going to display this on a page notice you can tell really easily uh, which calendar is associated with every single event in the back end in the database as well great let's go to pages open up let's say the home page and i want to display this there are two different ways to display this the easiest way of course is to find something that has to do with events and there it is there is a widget called events we'll drag this in the middle container and immediately the template that was built for events will show you the name of the event the date of the event from when to when the, the location is Orlando, as you can see, and then the summary, only the summary will show up in here, and there will be a list on top of each other for all of them. Of course, if you would like to see only the uh, Sitefinity ones on this page, not the Azure ones, you can also click on Edit, and notice the filtering on the content in here. You can see all events, all events by date, or selected events, or narrow selection uh, filtered events by. So again, you can actually choose however you want uh, from all of that. You can say, I just want to show, show, show the events for Sitefinity. I do not want to show the event from the development calendar. Or uh, again, I can say um, uh, events in here by date, upcoming events. So the, automatically uh, do not display the one already past the dates for current events, past events only. Maybe you have an archive page that shows only the past event. Uh, selected event we already saw that filtered events by and I can do it by calendar so I can say show me only the ones coming in from the Sitefinity calendar okay do not show me Azure calendar or the default calendar so you can do it like that at all. I'm gonna leave it all because we only have three the list settings again you can actually set the paging the limit like normal the event sorting will be sorted by date all this will be on the top or you can do it by publish, modify, title, ascending and descending, or set manually. All these things are available for you as normal. There is only one event uh, template. It's called the events list. Of course, you can create more than one by going to your uh, resource packages folder or the MVC folder, or even the database, create more templates if you want to display it completely different. And then finally, the single item settings. You get to choose whether you would like to display the, uh, the single item when you click on one of these in the list. If you'd like to display them in the same page or maybe select a different page to display this in a completely different layout if you would like as well. Great. Let's go ahead and say save. We'll publish and let's see how this will display itself uh, for the end users. So I'm going to click on backwards in here for a second and then I'll click on view for the home page. There we go. And notice here, I will have my list of events. If I click, let's say, on the Sifinity development class, let's click on that. It will display the, uh, the single item settings for this page, as you can see. It has the dates from what time to what time. You can leave a comment, as you see. And all the information here with a nice little different color background. I have the, uh, the location, uh, Lino, and uh, the, uh, uh, the phone numbers, and the, everything I've, I've actually put in the back end will be in here. And also in the gray, we'll have one sentence in here in gray, that's the summary. And then in black will be the full content of the event description itself. Make sense? I can always go backwards if I want to, click on the Azure development class, we will have the same kind of information and so on and so forth. So what is the other way to do this? So if you do not want it to show it like this in a list uh, one by one, for instance, you can remove this from here and there is a very neat um, widget and here it's called calendar. Let's bring this guy in, I'm going to put it right there and automatically it will display a regular calendar which you can go by day, work week, week, month, agenda and timeline. The default is per month. You can see the legends on the left uh, on the right side to show you all the different calendars that means i want to see all the events or azure uh, calendar or sitefinity calendar that means we are watching right now all the events in the system automatically does that make sense it will start on today's date uh, there is not really much i need to do if i'd like to click on edit in here you can actually set some things the filtering as well the list settings in here you can start the week from a Monday, and I will do that. Um, and then the default view, do you want always to show up in the months, which is the default, or do you want to start always from week, work week, day, agenda, and timeline? I'm going to leave it as months for right now. You can also allow your customer to switch the view, which as you can see in the back, we had day, uh, work week, and all the stuff. You can hide that if you want, and only show the months and there is nothing else, okay? The calendars allow users to filter by calendar. This is the part on the right side. If you turn this off, you will not have these legends on the right side. 
And also there's only one template called calendar, but of course you can go create your own calendar CSS HTML files in the resource packages or MVC to make this look completely different. Maybe you want to use a third party calendar component and you would like to uh, use Kendo. You, you can do whatever you want in your own CSS HTML as well. And the single item settings, again, like before, you can display when you click on uh, one of the events in uh, in the same page or in a completely different page if you'd like as well. All right, let's go ahead and say publish this page and let's see how it will look like. I'm gonna go backwards in here for a second and we will go ahead and view the page. There we go. And in this view page, this is what the, the users will see. So the first thing I wanted to show you is that if I'd like to see this as a day, so click on day, that is the day. And there is my Syfinity development class on the 22nd. I can click on next for the 23rd and we will have this Affinity business class. And next, the 24th will be in blue in here for the Azure development class as well. If I say work week, you will notice from Monday to Friday only. The whole week, I'll see the whole seven days. If I click on months, we'll get the whole month. The agenda is very nice. So I can actually come in here. If I go backwards, for instance, notice it will show you if you're on the 22nd, I can see what's happening in the agenda for the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, as long as there is something in that date, otherwise it will skip the date because it's empty. So you can actually tell exactly what's going on right there. And timeline is very nice as well. I don't have to see it from the midnight. I can say show business hours only. It will start from 8 a.m. And you can see that on the 22nd, I have Sifinity development. Very, very neat to be able to do that. Let me go to months again. Notice I'm seeing everything right now. If I'm only interested in Sifinity, I don't want to see the Azure. Just go ahead here and click on the Sifinity calendar. Notice the Azure will go away. If I click on Azure calendar, I will only see everything uh, in the calendar based on this calendar only. Or I can see all events and I can see everything in here as well. The final thing I wanted to show you is what happens when you click on one of those events in the calendar. We will end up with the single item view again. It will go straight to the page like we had before. So this one is the same between the two components. Whether you're using events or you're using calendar is the same. Alrighty, so and same thing with Azure, it will go straight to the single item event as well. Hopefully this was useful to you to give you an idea on how to use events and how to display them, whether with the events widget or with the calendar widget and have fun with it. And I'll hopefully, hopefully I'll see you again soon in uh, another video from Lino TV. Thank you.